2020 Canadian Open Mathematics Challenge Part A. At a party, if each kid took one apple from the fruit bucket, then seven apples would still remain in the bucket. However, if each kid had an appetite for two apples, the supply would be 16 apples short. How many kids were at the party? All right, so we have to basically make two mathematical equations. The first sentence, we get a, is e a minus k is equal to 7, where a represents the number of apples and k represents the number of kids. The second sentence, we would make the equation a minus 2k is equal to minus 16. And those are our two equations, and with those we can solve for a and k. All right, so I'll call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. So if I do 1 minus 2, I think I can solve this pretty quickly. Oops, sorry, 1 minus 2. And that would give me minus k minus minus 2k and 7 minus minus 16. And that would be, it looks like, just k is equal to 23. And therefore, a would be 30. And what they what do they want? Oh, the number of kids. Okay, so that's just 23. It is possible to create 24 distinct four-digit numbers, where each number uses each of the digits one, two, three, and four exactly once. How many of these are divisible by four? All right. So we have a four digit number and we can use these guys so for the first digit we have four possible choices then uh, the next number we have only three possible choices because remember they're distinct and then similarly for the third choice only two and then for the fourth choice only one number remains and therefore when we do the math it's 24 possible ways of creating these numbers and they already told you that 24 right there okay so what are they asking they're saying how many of those 24 numbers are divisible by 4 all right how many are divisible by 4 okay well let's write down the multiples of 4 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 32 36 40 and so on right so as you can see, there's a pattern here, 48260, right? That pattern, uh, 48260, and this is also 48260. If you lo just look at the unit's digit, the last digit. So that is important because if a number is divisible by 4, the last two digits of that number are going to be either 12... Uh, 16, 20, I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, possible uh, choices. But we can't create all of these because we are limited to using only these numbers, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, for example, we couldn't create a 20 uh, because there is no 0. We are limited to just the j digits 1, 2, 3, and 4. So with those four digits, what possible last two digits can we create? that are part of this group. Well, we can create a 12, we can create a 24, and I think we can also create a 32, and that's it. We can't make a 2-0, we can't make a 3-6, that, that like you see here, and so on, we can't make a 4-0. So I guess the only ones that we can are these three. So we have numbers that basically end in 12, uh, numbers that end in 24, and numbers that end in 32. And then for these two, I guess if we're using 1, 2, 3, 4, we can put a 3 and a 4. So either 3 and a 4 or a 4 and a 3. And very similarly here, since we're using only four digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, this would be a 1 and a 3 or a 3 and a 1 like that. And very similarly, this would be 4 and 1, so either 1, 4 like that or 4, 1. So that's it. These are the only ones, and I believe that's six of them. So six numbers is the answer to this question. One person can make n objects in an hour. 
Anne begins at 10 a.m., Bob begins at 10.20, and then Cody and Deb begin at 10.40 a.m. Working at the same constant speed by 11 a.m., they have made 28 objects. What is n? So Anne is working from 10 to 11, let's just say an hour. She would make n objects. Bob, 10.20, uh, and they, they all work until 11, so I guess we're all doing this till 11. Now that's only 40 minutes, so that's 40 over 60 minutes times n, which is essentially two-thirds n. All right? Okay, Cody starts at 1040 and then goes to 11, so she's only working 20 minutes, so that's 20 over 60 times n, which is essentially one-third n. And Deb, she is 1040 till 11 also, and that's the same thing, one-third n. And now they're saying that in total, all of these add up to 28 objects. So that means n plus two-thirds n plus n over 3 plus n over 3 is 28. So that equation basically is, let's see here, uh, 7n over 3, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 7n over 3 is 28. So solving, we get 7n is equal to 84, and therefore n is 12. If a and b are roots of the polynomial x squared plus x minus 2020 is 0, find a squared minus b. All right. I don't think this factors, so I think we have to use a quadratic. So let's see here. So x will be minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 220 all over 2 times 1. So x is minus 1 plus or minus, what's that? Uh, 8081, yeah, under the square root sign, and that's all over 2. And then do we have any kind of parameters here, like the positive, negative? No, they just say roots. Hmm. Okay. And they don't tell me what is what. So I guess since there's two roots, I'll just let one of them equal A. So I'll just let the positive one equal A. I don't even know if that's po It most likely is positive. And then B will be the other guy. So negative one minus 8081 all over 2. Okay. Now they want me to figure out that, so that's basically a squared minus b, so we got a little bit of algebra here. Oh. Okay, so we got minus 1 plus 8081 eight, square root all over 2, and then we're squaring it, so same thing, all over 2, and then we've got this minus b, which is minus 1 minus 8081 eight, all over 2. Okay, so let's expand this. 1 uh, minus 28081 plus 8081. And then that's over 4 this time. And then um, I'm going to make this over just so that I get a common denominator so that it'll be minus 2 minus 2 times 8081 okay so let's put this all now over 4 so we got let's see here 8081 plus 2 plus 1 so 8084 I believe and then this is negative, and this will be negative, negative, so that will become positive. So those cancel out. Yeah, minus 2 plus 2 times 8081. So those cancel out. So all we're left with is just 8081 over 4, which is 2021. 